Eric here with LEDGrowLightsDepot.com. This review is of the Grower's Choice ROI E680S LED grow light, released in July of 2021. I'm going to do a deep dive on the specifications and calculate the PPFD in a 4x4 tent. Finally, I'll give my final thoughts on this light. Is this better than the previous ROI E680, and should you buy this light or the ROI E720? Stay tuned to find out. But first, hit the like button and subscribe. The E680S is a passively cooled, bar style, plug and play, commercial grade LED grow light. The fixture is an updated version of the ROI E680. The fixture design was modified and it still looks different from the ROI E200, ROI E420, and ROI E720, which all have a similar build. The updated E680S looks and feels sleeker and has a higher quality build than its predecessor. It also now includes a level so you can ensure the fixture is straight over your plants. As a side note, bar style fixtures are actually designed for vertical gardening, but home and commercial growers have been using them in tents and open grow rooms due to their uniformity and horizontal penetration. The unit's dimensions are 46.5 by 42 by 3.2 inches and it weighs 29 pounds. The drivers are integrated into the fixture and are not removable. Previously, the drivers were located in the frame of the ROI E680, but now Grower's Choice has included them in line with the bars. The total light output of the fixture is reported by Grower's Choice at 1,770 micromoles per second with a reported efficacy of 2.6 micromoles per joule. This is not an improvement over the previous version of the ROI E680 as the numbers have remained the same. The light output is a little higher than most other bar lights on the market, which are reported at a flat 1700 micromoles per second of light output. A dimmer is now located on the inside of the frame, which allows dimming down to 75%, 50%, 25%, and off. There's a control port to the left of the dimmer to hook up the grower's choice controller to control central dimming, scheduling, and timing control for one or more fixtures. The E680S will flower a 4x4 at high intensity or 5x5 area at moderate intensity. Expect to use this light at a minimum of 6 inches but up to 24 inches depending on the footprint you need to cover and light intensity that you want to deliver to your plants during flowering. You can keep this light at the same distance for veg but dim the light down to 50% or so. The light will draw around 680 watts and 6.1 amps at 120 volts according to the manufacturer. When I measured this grow light's wattage draw at the wall at 114 volts, I received a reading of 732 watts at an amperage of 6.4. More on this discrepancy later. Expect a heat output of 2,318 BTUs per hour from this fixture, which is about 32% less heat and energy than a 1,000 watt HPS. The fixture comes with a NEMA 615P 240 volt style plug. A NEMA 515P 120 volt plug adapter is included with the fixture. If you're in another country that doesn't use these North American plug types, you'll need a plug adapter for your specific country. The E680S is IP65 wet rated, CE certified, DLC HORT listed, and ETL listed. In essence, this means that the light is held to high safety and reliability standards, can be used in the EU, and is certified for commercial grows in states where an ETL listing is required. The E680S now comes with a 5-year manufacturer's warranty. Grower's Choice uses their GC 3K full phase spectrum in this grow light. It's full spectrum and will take the plants from seed to harvest. There are two different diodes incorporated into the ROI E680S, full spectrum white and 660 nanometer deep red. To make up the spectrum, Grower's Choice uses a house brand white diode. The deep red diodes are made by Osram. The deep red is ideal for speeding up photosynthesis, can assist in increasing yields, and helps boost the PAR efficacy of the fixture. There's not any UVA in the spectrum, but there is far red which is naturally present in the white light diodes. The spectrum is fixed and cannot be altered. The E680S spectrum is the same as the ROI E420 and ROI E720. It's also similar to other high efficiency quality LED grow lights on the market such as the Gavita Pro 1700E and HLG's Scorpion Diablo. Expect about 54,000 hours of use until the LEDs reach 90% of the original light output. To test the PPFD, the fixture was hung up in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. I took measurements at 4 different distances, 36 inches, 24 inches, 18 inches, and 12 inches. The tent walls were closed completely when the readings were taken. 
Keep in mind that the readings may be higher than if the readings were taken outside of a reflective tent or in a tent with a black floor. Let's take a look at those readings now. Here you can see the readings at the four different distances. I also calculated the average par in the 4x4 area along with the average of the edges and the average of the center readings. Feel free to pause the video to study the readings. You can see the readings are pretty darn good. The ROI E680 was released in 2019 at a price of $999. Since then, Grower's Choice has gotten the price down to $799 to be more competitive with other brands while still providing a quality fixture. Furthermore, with the improvements of the E680S over the E680, the fixture looks and feels even better. The price is better than most other popular bar style fixtures with similar light output. The E680S is fairly efficient, has excellent light output for a 4x4 up to a 5x5 area, and will provide uniform, full spectrum light to your plants. Compare the 1770 micromoles per second of light output to other fixtures that are over $1,000 and you'll see that you're getting more light for your money with the E680S. It's a great bang for your buck from a trusted brand. It seems as though a dimmer is practically standard on an LED grow light these days. As mentioned, the E680S is dimmable, so it can be used through the entire grow from seedlings, clones, and veg, all the way through a bountiful harvest. I like that the dimmer dial is now located on the inside of the fixture so that it doesn't bump the inside of the tent or other fixtures if fixtures are placed close together in a larger tent or open room. Hooking up the grower's choice controller to this fixture might not be necessary when using one or two units unless you really want that controllability. Several units would benefit from a controller since these lights become easier to manage and their full potential is realized. The first generation E680 was named Best Bar Light in our Best LED Grow Lights of 2021 video, video link in description. I would actually replace a first gen unit with this updated version since it is mostly the same light but now a bit better. Moving on to the downsides of this fixture, well there are only two that I could think of. I noticed that the claimed water's draw and amperage were not accurate. Grower's Choice claims that this fixture draws 6.1 amps at 120 volts. If the unit draws 680 watts as Grower's Choice claims, then at 120 volts the amperage should be 5.6, not 6.1. In reality, the water's draw should be listed at around 730 watts. This is a water's draw at 120 volts and 6.1 amps claimed, and 114.4 volts and 6.4 amps which I measured. In sum, the wattage draw is higher than advertised at least on a 110 to 120 volt circuit, so take that into consideration before purchasing this fixture. Secondly, I wasn't a fan of the wire hanging system that came with this light. They were a bit too spindly for my liking, so I just attached ratchet hangers at all four attachment points instead. Problem solved. These few gripes are fairly small in my book, and I don't think they really detract from the positives of this grow light. And finally, should you choose the E680S or the E720? Both are great lights, but the E680S is better for a 4x4 tent since it fits a lot nicer and doesn't knock up against the sides. The light output for the E720 might be too high in a 4x4 area for some growers. Overall, if you're growing in an open space that is 4x4 or larger and want maximum yield, I would say that the E720 is a better option. But if you're in a 4x4 tent and or power draw, amperage and heat are a big factor in your grow, then the E680S would be your go-to fixture. It's also less expensive than the E720, which at this time is $949. I also provided a link to the Grower's Choice product collection if you wanted to check out their other lights. Smash that like button and subscribe to be notified for more videos like this reviewing the most popular LED lights on the market. And follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for LED Grow Light giveaways and other great content. Link below. See ya!